everybody welcome to my channel i have done a tutorial on this look which is pretty you know soft daytime look you could wear it to work <laughs> old joke i've done a festival look and i think it's super <laughs> fun i'm a little bit crazy with the glitter but i personally just can't get enough yeah i went mad i had loads of glitter here and i just thought why not? Personally, I love the look, other than the fact that I'm currently eating a bit of glitter, whatever. Point is, you'll either like it or you won't, and if you don't, okay. Yeah, I hope you do like it. A lot of thought into it. I didn't really, I just went mad with some glitter. But I really hope you like it, and I hope you enjoy the tutorial. And if you do, please subscribe to my channel. Um... But if I was going to a festival right away, I would literally just like tap um, loads of glitter in my parting probably like two different colours just to keep it super fun. I also probably splash some of this all over my chest. I hope you like the look and I hope you enjoy your festivals this year and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> That's made by NARS foundation in the shade Mont Blanc. I'm gonna put a few pumps on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna use my um, flat Kabuki by Sigma, which is my F80, and I'm just going to dip it in and put little dots all over my face. I'm probably going to leave it at that because I'm loving this look. It's this new technique. It's called patchy. Mm -hmm. So once I've got this kind of all over my skin, I'm just going to blend it out so it's not actually patchy. Probably used a bit too much, but oh well. We are going to a festival, so... So just making sure it's fully blended. I'm going to use my NARS concealer and this is in light two. So I'm going to put this underneath my eyes down my nose, on my forehead, on my chin, and around my nose. So seeing as we're getting ready to go to a festival, I'm gonna make sure that I've got a fairly good coverage in terms of concealer. And just before I blend it in with my damp sponge, I'm gonna get my loose setting translucent powder at the ready so that I can set it straight after I've pressed it. And the one that I love at the moment is my Loose Setting Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. So just shake, 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 shake. a bit into the lid. And then blending out my concealer and going straight in. So the bits that aren't really going to crease, I'm going to blend in first with the sponge. And I'm actually just pressing it on my face. I'm not rubbing it. It is so satisfying doing this. I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to do under my eye and then I'm going to set it straight away. And then whatever's left on my sponge, I'm just going to go over... So like my frown lines and my smile lines, I'm just going to press them a tiny bit, but not loads. So I'm going to set the rest of my face with a big fluffy brush and a little bit of my MAC Medium Mineralized Skin Finish. So I'm literally just going to dust it over my foundation just to make sure that I don't get any shininess anywhere else. You know? Okay. I'm just going to, because it's not a great look, just sitting here with my eyebrows. 
flying everywhere so let's just sort that out. Next I'm going to prime my eyes with my Paint and Eat Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC which just looks like this. I love this little thing and I'm just going to throw it on my eyelid using my finger. Sorry if you can hear my washing machine. Next I'm going to warm up my face a little bit. The bronzer I'm going to use is the Hula Bronzer by Benefit and just the same brush that I did the powder with as well. So I'm just going to kind of put it all over and then I'm going to come back and contour more later. So really putting bronzer in the hairline. I'm going to contour that slightly with my favourite Laura Mercier contour brush, but any slightly pointy brush will do, um, and Hula as well. So, just going to darken it up basically in the areas where you'd get a slightly deeper shadow if you had massive cheekbones, you know. You know, you don't need to have great cheekbones anymore because you can make them. Next, I'm going to go back in with my powder. I'm going to use this flat end of my brush and I'm just going to carve out the jaw a little bit. Just to neaten that up slightly. I'm going to let that sit there for just a second Um, when I throw on my brows. The brow bone, the brow bone, the brow pencil I like to use is again my Laura Mercier one in the shade Blonde. So I'm going to throw these things on and I'll be right back. As I'm doing a festival look today, I'm going to use a bunch of glitter. The glitter I'm going to use is like super cheap. I think it was from the pound shop and it was like a pound of tube. Or like a pound a packet and that had all the tubes. So these are, these are my glitter. But I am going to put a little bit of shadows underneath that just to keep it, you know, super fun and super cute. So the palette that I'm going to use, I'm going to use a few palettes. Okay, I'm going to use my Naked 3 Urban Decay palette first of all. The colour that I'm going to throw down first of all is the shade Limit, which is just a really nice like light pink shade. And I'm going to use my MAC 224 to throw this on. So I'm going to kind of put it all over my lid, buff it out. I'm gonna put it uh, mainly in this outside V section. I'm gonna keep it super light and fluffy. I'm gonna go in the crease as well and right there on the end bit because it's a super light color. You can barely even tell I'm wearing anything. But it's such a nice natural color. I really, really like it. Before I forget, I'm just going to quickly put away so it's not like super harsh. I literally love this colour. This is definitely like an everyday colour for me. I just think it is so nice and natural. And just gives a really nice tinge to the eye. And it's just nice to have that really nice base. And also, <clears throat> um, because it is super light, you don't have to be like really slow taking your time and like really put it in the right spot. You can literally like throw it on. And then I just like to bring it out a little bit. Then I'm going to use my Morphe 3502 palette, which is looking a little bit dirty right now because 
I just kind of use it all the time, using and abusing it. Um, I just feel like since I'm going to a festival, I should really use these two colours, you know? But I feel like I should also just figure out what... What glitter am I going to use on my eye because, you know, I don't want to be like crazy. I want it to look cute. So what am I going to do? Oh. Am I going to go, hmm, what am I going to have to do? I'm actually just going to go for it and see what happens. So I'm going to throw on some, I'm going to go for heat first of all, which is this colour. And then I'm probably going to go for this colour and then that colour because I just feel like if you don't do it at a festival, when are you going to do it? I'm going to stick to this same brush, first of all, to throw down heat. Being super light-handed with it. Yeah, that's a great colour. I'm going to get it. Making sure that I put it down and blend it in fully. So mainly starting in this outer bit of my eye and then blending in. And by the way, I'm being really light-handed with my brush. I just want to go for really fun colours to be honest, I don't really want to go for like browns and stuff because I feel like this is a festival look and a festival is the best time to be like super fun and experimental with hair, makeup, clothes. So I'm just going to slowly build up this colour. I really, really, really like this colour. I think it's really cute. I don't know what colour glitter I'm going to wear with, but we'll see how that goes. I'm really surprised. Okay, that's good. But yeah, I'm basically just focusing this colour fully on the outer V, the outer corner of my eyelid. And then blending it in slightly. So I'm going to move over to a MAC 217 and you'll be pleased to see it's super clean. I'm going to go for, you know what, I'm wanting to use, <gasps> what? I'm really wanting to use these two colours, I don't know if I'm really showing you the colours that well. Let me go like this, that's better. That one and that one. Because I just feel like honestly if you don't do it when you go to a festival, when are you going to do it? So these colours are called a blaze and fire. I've used a blaze before but I've not used fire before. I'm going to use a blaze because it's a little bit of a softer one. Don't you just love how clean my brush is? And I clean these things so well, it's like I'm a cleaner. And just going to add this to the outer V, outer corner, and then like bring it in slightly a bit. So this is just making the whole look more orange. This looks really cute, this little bit of orange here. And now I'm going to go in with fire, which is this really, really bright colour. I'm going to keep it low, but I'm going to bring it all the way across. Yeah. Okay, my washing machine is singing to me. I feel like I'm in the zone. So I'm going to just leave it like that for now. Sorry if it really annoys me. It's kind of cute though, I think, that noise. Okay. So now for the really exciting bit. I think, first of all, with my finger, actually, I might use a tiny bit of salt. So I'm just going to go in a tiny bit with that one because, again, I haven't actually used that one before. And I actually just want to see what it looks like. Oh, yeah, it's grey. Great, not grey. 
So there we've got the start of it, but now we're going to need to put some glitter on. So I think I'm going to have to just keep it to gold. I kind of want to use this pink though, or even this blue. I just feel like maybe it's going to look ridiculous. Maybe it's going to look great, but I won't know unless I try it. I'm actually going to go for this purple because I think that's really nice. I'm going to use my MAC 252. So first of all, I'm going to dip it in some Vaseline and put some Vaseline on my eyelids. And then I'm going to go on and pick up some glitter. So I'm basically just putting Vaseline all over my and a bit of my eyelid, just basically on top of the orange bit, which is actually quite moisturising. Kind of liking that. And then going into my glitter and popping that on. Mm like now that I've started I'm actually there's a danger that I could go a bit crazy with this because I kind of love it so I'm probably gonna go over the top of that with the blue picking up some more Vaseline and I'm putting it on the end there picking up some of this blue oops And then on the lower lash line, putting some more Vaseline, being quite liberal with it because I'll be liberal with the glitter. And then which colour am I going to use? I'm going to go for a light pink one. I mean, I'm obsessed. It's a good thing as well because it's not actually like glue. It's not even harmful, I don't think. Don't quote me on that, but... It's not feeling irritating at all having this glitter here. I just feel the Vaseline, which is quite soft. On a small pencil brush, I'm going to add, again, some Vaseline in the corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go in with gold. Using my pencil brush, I'm going to dip into my Vaseline. And I'm going to do some dots above my eyebrow. And then I'm going to put the green glitter on those little dots. <laughs> Last but not least, I'm going to apply Vaseline to my lips and then I'm going to apply the light blue over the top. I also picked up some glitter paint. I don't think this is actually for your skin. I'm going to apply some to my cheek. If it doesn't work well, then I'm probably not going to recommend it. For highlight, I'm going to use my MAC pigments. Try not to bang my lips together too much when I talk. Just checking I used all the colours. So I'm just going to use my MAC 230 flat brush to apply this highlight. And I'm just going to put it underneath my brow bone. And a little bit down my nose as well. I'm going to throw these on and I will be right back. I personally love this look. I feel like potentially it looks better in person. I think on the camera I feel like my cheeks are looking a little bit too red. It feels fine on my face. I think because I use Vaseline and you can see my Vaseline lid now because this is what I was using as my little palette. Um, oh, and I've just sprayed it all over there. Whatever. It doesn't feel as you maybe think by 
looking at it, it doesn't feel like I've got like sand on my face and it's like gritty and scratchy, it doesn't feel like that at all, it actually feels like I've just got loads of Vaseline on my face, so that's fine. I think they look super fun and I would definitely wear this sort of thing to, I was going to say a funeral, I would definitely not wear it to a funeral, I would wear it to a festival, unless it was like the death of glitter and then I would wear this to a funeral. But I really hope you <laughs> like the look, like I actually can't stop laughing because I just think it's so funny. Yeah. I am eating the glitter. I hope you liked the look and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Probably don't need to use any more to be fair.